Well, I used to say good day viewers, but today's not a good day. We have a Subaru Outback here with leaky brake lines. Subaru, in their infinite wisdom, ran the lines through the cab of the vehicle. There's a rubber grommet above the gas tank where the lines come from under the seat, I think. Let's see, this would be... Yeah, under the back seat. So I'm going to take the back seat out. Now this plastic cover, one of the bolts came out. This one up here someplace came out. The rest of them, I didn't dare heat them. I just pulled them through the straps or the plastic. This thing is rotten, this car. It's questionable as to whether we should be fixing it. Wow. But it's going to need the brake lines replaced to the back brake hoses here. Hmm. Lovely. So the, the rear seat bottom just pulls up at the front edge. There's clips in the floor. Just give it a sharp pull and it'll pull out from underneath these, the back part. The sill plate cover is a bitch of a thing to get off. These two clips are pretty tough. This one here and this one here in this white plastic piece. But these are the two brake lines. Now they ran them inside the cab of the vehicle so they're really pristine here. And they run them through the floor here. So I'm going to cut them here and make unions in here. I don't know if these are coated. They, they look like they're coated. But we're going to Peel the coating off if we have to and flare them from here. I would imagine this pipe goes to the left side, but that's the they cross each other. You don't want to mix them up because left is left and right is right, not mix them up. So if you take the back wheels off, you can get access to these fittings here. They're 10 mil, so they're probably metric. A double flare. Uh, use a crescent wrench up through here like so to hold the bracket so that you don't twist the bracket when you're taking the fitting off. Six point socket works. And I have confirmed that the left line up here, the one on the driver's side, goes to the driver's side. I've cut the lines and I'm going to run new line from here into the cab and from the other side into the cab. So inside the car, I'm using this Titan double flaring tool that I bought a few months ago. I've got it set up. This is the gauge that sets the depth. Then you use this piece. You gotta look because it says right on it, step one, operation one, focus. Put a little grease on it, thread that in there, and then we'll tighten it with a 17 mil wrench. This is handy because it's compact. Mind you, I do have quite a bit of room here. I could use a ratchet that would speed it up a bit, but... I've already flared the other three lines with this tool. And you go with step one until it bottoms. Then you take it out, and then you do the other half of the flare. Make sure you put some grease on it.
works really good with this nickel copper line because it's pretty malleable. the 10 mil to electric impact gun here to take it there you go that's the finished product looks pretty good okay we'll put this line in and secure the rest of the lines so I use some uh, tar seam sealer uh, to seal that grommet. I cut split the grommet so that I could get it over the pipes and the holes are too too large so I sealed them with uh, black silicone or it's like silicone but it's more like a tar. It's a seam sealer. It's this stuff here it's on these seams. I drilled a hole through the floor and I put a tie wrap to hold the lines down and there's the line on that side not routed exactly like it was from the factory, but it'll be fine. So now we got to bleed the brakes. So I got a pressure bleeder ball on it, which allows me to just bleed it manual or bleed it by pressure from the master cylinder. I hope that I just I just have to bleed the rear. I don't know if I'm going to have to bleed the front. This is likely that nothing's coming out. Oh yeah, we got bubbles. The benefit of pressure bleeding is it's one man operation. And you can see how fast it is. Yes, the bleeder screws came loose. If we got a decent pedal, we'll ship it. What happened to the rubber plug? I already bled the driver's side. I bled the driver's side first because it's the furthest from the master cylinder as the lines run down the passenger side. So let's see what kind of pedal we have. This is my bleeder setup. That bleeder ball has a bladder in it so the brake fluid's on top and the air pressure's on the bottom. And these are uh, adapter fittings. It leaks a little bit, but we're going to see what the pedal's like now.